Hi friends, welcome to Sri Spoken English. This is Sri Nawaz, a teacher of English. This is video lesson 20. Friends, I am sure this video is very much useful to all the English speakers, especially for 10th class students. In this video, we are going to discuss phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions. As we know, in our 10th class English paper 2, question number 13, there will be asked for 2 marks and they are phrasal verbs, idiomatic expressions and binomial expressions and foreign expressions. Okay, in the previous video, I have given a detailed explanation about foreign expressions and binomial expressions. Now, we are going to discuss in this video phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions. So, students and all the English teachers, be careful, don't neglect this half mark. It's very important to get 10 by 10 GPA. Okay, what is a phrasal verb? Phrasal verb is a combination of a verb plus preposition that gives use it together. It gives a different meaning. Example, look after and put on and etc. Okay, these examples are very important. Students, these examples meaning tells kundi. Alage usage matro exams lo raindi. First examples kundi is kuna. First example set in. It means begin or start. Praramamagadam. Praramamagadam. Winter has start set in early this year. Example, Ilatis coach and mano. So, students under kuda examples good pet kondi meaning tells kondi. E exams usages matrame mano example radha. The second one get into which means become involved in nimagna maudam. Example, Silaka got into her preparation for the exam. The third example run over hit someone with something drive over. Example, the car ran over a small goat on the main road. We move to the next example, kick down, which means strike forcibly with the foot. Example, Ramu kicked down the football. And we go for another example, speed off, which means left in a vehicle, the thief sped off by a car. And we move on to the next one, example, bounced back, which means recovered quickly after a defeat. Example, Indian team bounced back after losing T20 World Cup. And next example, freak out, make someone upset or shocked. Example, Nick freaked out the girl by doing a 360 degree spin. Next example, call into, call to a person to place, flip into them. Example, called, I called my brother into the house. And we move on to the next one. Yes. Break down. Very important. Failing to function. And a punch item agi podum. The car broke down when we were driving to Chennai. Next one. Get rid of. Discard as undesirable. Vodrinch Konadam. Ramu got rid of his bad company. It's a perfect example. And next we move on to the next example. Yes. 11th one. Take off. Which means leave, Vadali Veladam. The flight took off the airport. And next one, stagger in. That means walk. Example, the old man staggered in and fell down. I like a next example, Keldamundi. Talk over. Speak with others about something. Example, the two brothers are talking over sharing of their father's property. Next one, 14th one, run up, move quickly. Twaraka Kadalamandi. Example, he ran up to the postman to receive the letters. And next, 15th one, get off, which means remove. Tolikinchudum, he got off his shirt after entering his room. And next example, leave behind. That means not to take someone when you go somewhere. Example, the young man left his old ma old mother behind. Next example, see off to say goodbye to someone. We call Palakadamandi. Example, I saw her off at the airport. And next one, catch up to reach by coming faster. Adiki mentionum, cross chedum. Like example, the police caught up the thief. Ila examples right chandi exam lo students andro kor gurte pet kondi. Next example, come come across 
that means meet by chance kalsukovadam an example i came across a short man yesterday 28th one go about which means tackle vyavaharinchadam you are not going about in the interview and next example fight over compete for poti padadam example the birds were fighting over a scrap of food and next example set off very very important start a journey prayanam praraminchadam andi example we set off to vijag at 7:30 am in the morning and next example yes look after very important take care samrakshinchuta it's our responsibility to look after our parents it's a perfect example so friends please use this phrasal verb and enrich your language and especially 10th class students be careful next we move on to the next expressions idiomatic expressions okay friends what is idiomatic expression idioms a group of words established by usage having meaning not de uh, deducible from those of the individual words example over the moon on the edges like that in our 10th class second unit uh, the following idioms are given students so students should learn these uh, all the idioms and practice well okay yes the first example get one's own way get what one wants even when somebody tries to oppose it she gets her own way example and second one for ages for a long time sudirga kalanga example he has been uh, waiting for his promotion for a ages next to set foot which means visit or come darshinchadam chodadam example when i set foot in usa i was really enjoyed next example drive a hard bargain which means force someone to agree balavantanga oppinchadam example many customers drive and bargain to the discount in the shops next get rid of make free of something odrinchukodam example everyone tries to get rid of bad people and the next example <coughs> give way stop resisting vitrekinchakapovadam she is give way on the any way of the points next example at length for long time sudhir ganga we have been discussing this topic at length it's a perfect example next we move on to the eighth one yes on purpose intentionally uddeshapurvakanga example he started the topic on purpose which is perfect example and next we move on to the ninth one took by surprise that means shocked aashcharyam kaliginchadam his decision to join army took took his family by surprise so the last one in the idioms at a loss not knowing what to do ante dikku dochana sithilo undadam example all the students were at loss as the exams date was suddenly announced so my dear students and all the english teachers and friends please use this type of uh, phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions and enrich your language so 10th class students don't forget this every half mark will help you to get 10 by 10 gpa i wish you all the best my dear students practice well thank you very much catch you later in next video